In lesson 5, we will go through how you make a backup of your keys. To have a backup of your keys is quite important and uh, because if you lose them, then you actually have to create a new set of keys and all the public keys that you have given to all your partners uh, are not valid anymore. So you need to send a mail to all of them and say, I have created a new public and private keys and uh, please delete the old one. It's a little bit of a hassle for everybody involved. So the most secure thing is make sure you have a good backup of both your keys so they can be restored. And that's what we are going to do now. As I told before, there are several methods that you can do it. And I have chosen to demonstrate a method that is good to use because you can easily import it into Simbra. And if you later decide to use a desktop application with Outlook or another mail program, it's easy also to import into that PGP application. So uh, let's get started. First of all, I have to go into manage my keys and here I see my private and my public key. I'll start with the private. So I click inside, I do control A for alpha to mark it all, control C to copy, and then I open a notepad and control V to paste it. So this will be my private key. And now I have to save it on my PC. So I do file, save as. In principle, you could uh, save it as um, a text file uh, because then you can easily open it and you can see exactly what you're seeing. But if you want to import your private key into a desktop application later, it's difficult if you save it as a text. So. I'll show you a trick how to change the file extension. Uh, you, you start by typing colon. You write a name. This key is called webmaster at caroni.com. And I say dot ASC. This is an armed shield something PGP file format. And then I close it again with the, the two dots. This will force it to save the file with this extension. Okay, uh, You can give it any name, name you want, but uh, at least this gives you an indication of what it is. So maybe you can even say webmaster pry for private. Okay, So I'll save that key and I close. I repeat the same for my public key, put the marker inside, control A for alpha, control C for Charlie, then I open notepad, and I paste it in. This is my public key. I do the same thing. Save as. I want to force the extension, webmaster, at caroni.com and file extension ASC colon I save and that's my two keys basically backed up and I can close down this application if I now go into my desktop I go into the files, you can see that they are both here. If I right click on any of them, I can open with Notepad again. Now I use something called Notepad++, but that should be the same. And you can see, I can see my file here. And the same with the Webmaster public key. I open it with Notepad and I can see the file here. Now I have made a backup. So it's important that you save these uh, in a folder that um, you don't lose. So if your PC go down, make sure you have saved it maybe in your Dropbox Professional 
or your OneDrive or somewhere in the cloud so you actually don't lose your keys if your PC goes down. So this is how you make a backup of your two keys. So now you are secure even if you should lose them from the Simba system. You now have a backup.